Okay, so apparently I wasn't very clear in my last video about my opinion on sequels and prequels. It wasn't a blunt statement that I hate all sequels, okay? I accept that some are good, I mean the Indiana Jones series were very good, uh, barring the last one which had the most obvious plot point in the world. Wow, he's Indy's son, I never would have guessed. But you see, this is what I'm talking about. I do like certain sequels, but a lot of them are not worth the time and money you spend watching them. I mean, even if you downloaded it or streamed it or borrowed it off your friend, you've still wasted quite a bit of time watching it. Toy Story 2, for example, wasn't as good as the first one. It was alright, but it wasn't that good, it didn't have the same feel. Toy Story 3, however, was actually on par with the first film. And some film series are outright terrible from the start. I mean... Well, I can't really name any without people trying to kill me. Twilight. Um... Anyway, please don't assume that I hate all sequels, because I, a lot of you were telling me that you thought that I disliked all sequels because I told you of a few that I don't particularly think that good or should not be sequels. I wasn't talking about them not existing as films, I was just talking them not being sequels in that one. Um, I mean, if you paid an ounce of attention to my last video, you would have noticed that the first thing I said was that I called sequels a gamble, because they are. Sequels make me uneasy because, as a fan, I have to consider that if this film would, will somewhat wreck my love for the original. I'm uneasy about prequels for the same reason, because what prequels and sequels do is they add new light and a way of looking at the original content, and once you've watched that, even if you ignore the existence of them, if you deny that they exist, you have still seen them, and you still have the memory and the ideas from these films in your head knowledge that what happens in these films will affect your enjoyment which is why you have to consider watching them I mean for example say you watched a film that you love to pieces but they didn't explain why stuff happens and then you watch the prequel which is terrible but it explains why stuff happens you can watch the first thing but then you under you still remember the second film explaining why it's been happening. You still remember however terrible the reason why that was meant to happen and you can ignore that and just say that doesn't work, it's not true. Thing is, once it's been made and classified as a sequel, it is then canon. You know, it is actual part of the storyline then and you can't do anything about that. You can deny it all you want but logically it still exists. It's really bad, but you can't deny that something exists once it does. You can pretend it doesn't, but it's not gonna work. Anyway, I hope you understand my view a little better now, and have fun kids.